afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four. It's, it's Friday. Friday. Beginning and it's of a very busy weekend here in Madison. Big weekend. Uh, it's the first farmer's market on the square tomorrow, and one of the vendors, our friends from Hook's Cheese, are going to be here to tell us a little bit. And the, and the horse fair is going on. We'll yeah. check that out, too, later yeah. in this hour. But first, topping our news today, a fire in western Wisconsin has burned 3,000 acres. Now, evacuations have been rescinded for some areas. The city of Madison gets $15 million in federal money to revitalize John Nolan Drive. We'll tell you what the plans are. And a new proposal that would allow schools to decide whether guns are allowed on campus takes center stage in the Wisconsin legislature. First, summer continues. Well, I'll tell you, this for the first part of April, summer to winter. Yeah, a big change on the way, maybe toward the end of the weekend. Sunday night or yeah. so. Well, let's find out from the next bird. Here's Julian in the backyard. Hi, Julian. Some snow's on the way. That's right. Snow is on the way, but I'm jealous of anybody who's on the water because it is yeah. still a picture-perfect day for us as we get to our Friday afternoon. But let's go ahead and talk about what we have on the menu for us in our weather. Red flag warning is going to be until 8 p.m. for Juneau, Adams County, and surrounding areas of northern Wisconsin. But that's just one thing we're going to be watching for because we also have severe weather, marginal severe weather for areas just south of Madison, mainly into the southwest for us to see some strong or th uh, th thunderstorms that could be severe by the time we roll into our Saturday afternoon and evening hours. But then we're transitioning into Sunday, which is where we're looking for an alert day in our forecast for southern Wisconsin and mainly north of Madison. We could be seeing one to four inches of that rain transitioning into snow that could accumulate and even cause some disruptions on the roadways by the time we get into our Monday morning. Now the timeline is mainly going to be Sunday nights into our early Monday morning, but we are still looking for some potential disruptions for our late season snowfall as we get into that time period. Now here's what we're watching for going into our Saturday evening hours. Don't be surprised if you hear a few rumbles of thunder and be mindful of some heavier rainfall as well, but the snow in itself will start to really change over once we get into our Sunday evening heading into our Monday morning. A quick look at our traffic before we get into more details about the potential snow on the east bound side of the belt line. We're looking at some slower spots just outside the Monona Drive, but otherwise things are rather running rather smoothly as we're getting closer to the 5 p.m. commutes. Until then, we're going to talk more about the alert day in a few moments. Back to you guys. 40 degree temperature drop. <laughs> All right, Julian, thank you. Thank you, Julian. Emergency crews are still trying to manage a wildfire that's burned over 3,000 acres in Monroe County near Fort McCoy. The Wisconsin DNR officials say after three days of fire suppression efforts, they have 77% of the fire contained. Our Tahalil Modine is live in Black River Falls tonight where operations are ongoing. Talil? Well, with most of the fire contained, people in the area are being given the all clear to head back home as the evacuation order is lifted. Arcadia Avenue, the road most impacted by the fire, remains closed as crews working on improving fire lines and keeping up with changing weather conditions. Officials say they're feeling good about the progress since yesterday's 50% containment level, but they are still being cautious. I think they have it pretty well. Um, of course, they're monitoring the weather and everything today just because it is still being hot and dry, low moisture conditions for any fires. So still being safe, trying to keep everything as safe as possible for everyone. Area residents say they are relieved to be heading home. About 150 people from agencies and departments across the state are still working the Arcadia wildfire today. A DNR official say it's possible we could see that evacuation order back in place if weather impacts containment, but it's not likely if fire suppression continues to run smoothly, they could turn the fire over to local command as early as tomorrow. All right, Taylor, thank you. Breaking into our newsroom in the past hour, a diver drowned in Lake Mendota today. At approximately 9.30, this, 9.20 this morning, the Madison Fire Department's water rescue team responded to a report of a missing diver. The diver was quickly located and returned to shore for medical care, but as we say, he passed away. A White House official visited Madison this morning to announce a revolutionary grant to reimagine John Nolan Drive. A total of six bridges on John Nolan Drive will be rebuilt with a $15 million grant from President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure bill. Our Andrew Banstra has the story. A bipartisan infrastructure law is set to make major facelifts to John Nolan Drive and other areas of Madison's downtown. 
John Nolan Drive, the iconic gateway to Madison's downtown, is set to be transformed. The project will reconstruct the six bridges across the causeway, improve lane configuration and cross-section changes, separate the bike path from pedestrian facilities, and reconstruct stormwater systems and the Lake Monona shoreline. The $15 million federal grant from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law aims to make Madison safer, connecting our people to our lakes. The improvements will make it safer for people to cross and enjoy access to our wonderful lakefront. And the new widened paths will provide ample space for pedestrians and cyclists and provide a better experience for everyone. Uh, that if you invest in America, if you invest in its people, if you invest in its infrastructure, uh, nobody will ever beat America. We will prepare ourselves for the 21st century and build a better America. The John Nolan Drive project is projected to be done by 2026, and its funding will also help kickstart the Lake Monona Waterfront Redesign Challenge. And while this revamp won't be done anytime soon, Madisonians certainly have something to look forward to. In Madison, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Now. Well, a day after his dramatic arrest, the suspect in a months-long intelligence leak faced a judge in Boston. While the case moves forward, the Pentagon is now rethinking its handling of sensitive information and who should have access. Willie James Inman reports from Washington. The young man accused of leaking classified government records appeared in federal court in Boston. 21-year-old Jack Texera was arrested on Thursday in Massachusetts. Federal prosecutors have now charged the Air National Guardsmen under the Espionage Act for removing and transmitting classified materials. His family left the courthouse Friday without comment. He said I love you to your son the court. Would you like to say now? Texera was assigned to support cyber network infrastructure, raising the question of why he had access to classified information. That question has floated around here at the White House. President Biden released a statement saying that he has directed the military and intelligence communities to secure and limit the distribution of sensitive information. Attorney General Merrick Garland confirmed a broad reassessment is underway. The Department of Defense is leading a, an important effort now to evaluate uh, and review the national uh, security implications and most important to conduct a review of the methods of access, accountability, and control procedures. The materials first turned up in a private online chat group and had been there for months before investigators spotted the leak. This is about the transmission, uh, both the unlawful retention and the transmission of the documents. There are very serious penalties associated with that. Texera is being held in custody until his detention hearing next Wednesday. Willie James Inman, CBS News, The White House. The breach exposed secret documents about a range of sensitive issues from the war in Ukraine to surveillance in South Korea, forcing the Biden administration into diplomatic damage control. Parts of South Florida continue to deal with heavy flooding after this week's storm dumped tons of rain in the area. Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport is back in business. Airline operations resumed at 9 this morning, shortly after the first flight took off. The airport had been closed since Wednesday after more than two feet of rain flooded runways and forced the cancellation of hundreds of flights. It's been an interesting adventure. <laughs> For sure. Uh, a little stressful. Trying to make it back in time to go to the Yankee game tonight. So my flight, my flight options were limited. According to FlightAware, more than 230 flights at the airport were canceled today. This is on top of the nearly 900 flights canceled on Wednesday and Thursday. All right now, nearly 30 states in the U.S. allow districts, school districts, to decide whether their teachers can be armed at school. A new proposal in the state legislature this week could add our state to that list. Braden Ross joins us with the latest on that. Braden. Yeah, the idea for this bill actually came after the Germantown School Board passed a resolution last summer asking the legislature to let them decide if guns are allowed in their buildings. Right now, Wisconsin state law makes all schools in the state gun-free zones. Under this bill, each school district in the state would be able to decide whether licensed gun owners can carry on their campuses. So if one community doesn't want to do that at all, then they voice that to their school board and their school board acts accordingly. If another school district says this is entirely appropriate for us, they can then implement their own policies. 
Critics of the idea say more guns in schools wouldn't make them safer and could actually lead to more dangerous situations. Now, this bill is still just a proposal, and Governor Evers has said that if this legislation lands on his desk, he wouldn't sign it. Braden, thank you. In a rare campus ceremony today, UW-Madison celebrated the investiture of Chancellor Jennifer Mnookin. This is only the third time this has happened in the university's history. Mnookin spoke to the strength and promise of the Wisconsin idea and the core institutional priorities of both free speech and belonging. The ceremony took place in the Hamel Music Center. And in celebration of that investiture, the Babcock Hall dairy plant made a new ice cream flavor, Manuki dough. <laughs> That's very creative. It's a vanilla ice cream base with bites of chocolate chip cookie dough and swirls of fudge and caramel. The ice cream will be the first flavor made in the newly renovated Babcock Hall Dairy Plant, which held its grand opening this week. Manuki dough will also be available in the Babcock Dairy Store and at Daily Scoop locations across campus next Monday. It's a tradition. Every time there's a new Chancellor, Good. they get their own ice cream. Congratulations, Chancellor. Mm -hmm. I have to try it. Yeah, it sounds delicious. Well, you know, spring is here with the Farmer's Market on the Square returning. And now in its 51st year, we'll find out what keeps the regular vendors coming back year after year. That's when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at Four. Spring savings are in full swing and everything is on sale at Ashley. Find the best deals of the season on all of the top mattress brands, including Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and more. Plus, special financing options for any budget, only at Ashley. An important message for Americans age 50 to 85. How's John? Oh, much better. That was quite a scare. Got us thinking about a lot of things, like life insurance. If something happened to either one of us, we'd really be in trouble. But where can we get coverage with John's health problems on a fixed income? Go with the sure thing, Colonial Pen. Friends have been telling friends about Colonial Pen guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance for more than 50 years, and with good reason. If you're between the ages of 50 and 85, it's a sure thing. Your acceptance is guaranteed because full benefits are not paid in the first two years. You don't need a physical exam, and we won't ask about your health. You cannot be turned down. And the price? Options start at $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. I don't know. What if the price goes up as we get older? With Colonial Pen, your rate is another sure thing. It will never increase. That's because it comes with something you won't find in other policies, a lifetime rate lock. The rate you start with is the one you keep, guaranteed. And you should know this coverage can last a lifetime. Some insurance policies end once you reach a certain age, not this one. As long as you pay your premiums, it's yours for life. Call the number on your screen now, and we'll send you free information by mail. You have nothing to lose, because at Colonial Pen, your satisfaction is another sure thing. Every policy we issue comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance to help your family with funeral expenses and other bills you may leave behind, call for free information today. There's no obligation, and you'll receive a free beneficiary planner just for calling. Same time next week? Sure thing. Call 1-800-248-6940 for your free information and your free beneficiary planner. That's 1-800-248-6940. There's no obligation. 1-800-248-6940. Call now. Backyard living season is coming soon. CoolView has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25 percent. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let CoolView show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from CoolView. Spring savings are in full swing and everything is on sale at Ashley. Sofas start at $6 a month, dining sets at $8 a month, bedroom sets at $13 per month, plus special financing options for any budget and free delivery in three days or less. Only at Ashley. Welcome back. The Phantom of the Opera is closing Sunday 
after 35 years on Broadway. Yeah, it's the end of an era. The show opened in 1988 and became the longest running show in Broadway history. New York City Mayor Eric Adams presented phantom composer Andrew Lloyd Webber with a key to the city today as a thank you. Mayor Adams said Webber, quote, keeps the lights on in our hearts as we keep the lights on in Broadway. Webber said he's loved musicals ever since he was a little boy and that being on Broadway was a dream for him. I felt very, very much a part of the community even though I'm I'm British I still feel that this is the home of musicals and where I want to be so um, I'd like to just say thank you thank you very 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 much it's something that was mean a very great what means a great deal to me and I hope that Broadway continues to thrive he said Broadway is the reason so many people come to New York. That's very true, and he's thankful to have been part of the community. There's a lot of optimism right now in the diagnosis and treatment for Parkinson's disease. A study shows a new test is 88% effective in detecting the disease. It works by looking for a misfolded protein indicative of the disease. That's significant because right now there are no approved tests for Parkinson's. One problem with the new test is it requires a spinal tap, which is a painful procedure. Scientists are hoping to apply the same concept to a test that would only require a blood or saliva sample. Consumers are reining in their spending amid fears of a recession. That's according to new data out today from the Commerce Department. Retail sales fell 1% in March from February, a sharper decline than the previous month. The recent banking crisis has only fueled concerns about a recession. The Fed says that banking crisis is likely to push the nation into a mild recession later this year. There was some profit taking on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials lost 143 points any of the week at 33,886. The Nasdaq fell 42. The S&P 500 was down eight and a half. Well, the Dane County tradition that is Saturdays on the Square is back this weekend. The Dane County Farmers Market returns to the Capitol Square tomorrow morning, bright and early at 615. And Tony and Julie Hook have been making artisan cheese in Mineral Point for over 45 years. Welcome to Live at Four. Thank You've you been going to the, the market for how, how many years? Uh, we've been at the market for over 30 years. What keeps you going back? It's a great market. Uh, it's one of the biggest producer only markets in the nation and so many people know about it and love the market. People that are local come and people from out of town mm -hmm. check it out. People love the market and Julie, people love Hook's Cheese. Well, thank you. <laughs> have, have you seen the market change over the years? Uh, vendor wise. Vendor wise, and, yeah. yes. And products, different new products is really exciting. New vegetables and things we have never seen before. Yeah. So and there's a bunch, all of new, bunch of new vendors coming this year. So. Yep. Right. Yep. Well, tell us the story about Hook's Cheese and how this all got started. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I just started making cheese when I graduated from high school. Really? Summer job. Yeah. Uh, worked in the cheese factory, got my cheesemaker's license uh, after a couple years, and then we started our own company in 1976. Wow. The rest, the rest is history. history. Yeah, it's, a, it's a hugely popular product, and you just were awarded a Master Cheesemaker Award. For, uh, congratulations. congratulations. For, for, for blue cheese. Yes. I mean, we people know you for seven your... Seven different styles of blue cheese. Really? Because yes. people know you for your cheddar, but well, they do. you have to yeah. try the blue cheese. <laughs> so, Julie, what did you bring for us today? We have two-year white cheddar right here and a five-year aged cheddar. And this is a 15-year aged cheddar and two different kinds of curds, a plain curd and a very spicy curd. Oh, wow. That's a little... This I, I, so, I told you very spicy. And it's, yeah, it's the one of the... Hottest peppers in the world, so go Bite Carolina me in the region. butt. <laughs> yeah. That's a different word, but yeah, we got the idea. So this cheese, I mean, this is the same as this, it's just age longer. Right. Just age longer, it's correct. No different. So the, the orange has got a natto in it, a vegetable coloring, and the white does not. So, so milk is naturally white. Um, when the cows are out on pasture in the summer, it's a little bit of off-white because right. some of the keratin comes through. And you're known, of course, for your 20-year cheddar. Which is yes. coming out Which is, when month? is that coming out? Another batch coming out uh, May 15th. And it's sold out? It's pretty close to sold out. <laughs> and, it, and this batch is all white. Oh, we've interesting. Had, we've had sometimes white and orange and sometimes just orange, but this one's all uh, white. This 20-year is white. Yep. Uh, the two are orange, yes. So what 
makes, excuse me, I'm going to change, I know. I'm going to change my mouth. <laughs> That's hard. The aging process makes it more brittle? Uh, it does. It, it gets a little, the texture gets a little drier, a little more brittle, but it, you know, the enzymes keep breaking the cheese down and giving it more complex flavors. Oh, yeah, the, there's a lot of difference between this and this and this. Right, right. Oh, and delicious. around five years is when you have the most acidic taste mm -hmm. to it. So you taste that in the back of your mouth. And a lot of people actually feel the five-year taste the oldest, but it's just the acid taste. You get past that and age it out and it mellows out, and then you get the little crystals. Oh, I like <laughs> The crystals are the best. I love the little the crystals. <laughs> so where's your, where's your stand on the square? Um, We're on Pickney yep. Street. Okay. Right Do you in front look of the glass bank. Do you look forward to it every year? Can't oh. wait. Yeah. yeah. That's how we feel uh, We too. get to see vendors we haven't seen for the whole winter. We've seen children that were born and growing up and graduated, and they come back with their kids. <laughs> their kids. And the college students, when they leave Wisconsin, they come back. Absolutely. They yeah. always come back, and they go, I graduated here, and I missed the market so much. So, <laughs> and the hooks, yeah. trees. <laughs> no, 640, it's a, it's great. 645, Saturday morning to 145. And it runs through November. 6.15. 6.15. Even earlier. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Get your cheese November, earlier. November 11th. November. And then we go inside. All Continued right. success, you two. Great Thank to see you. Thanks for being with Thank us. You so Congratulations much for on your, your Master Cheesemaker Award. Thank you. <laughs> well, always keep your eyes on the road. Remember driving school? Well, nowhere does it say text and drive, but many are with sometimes deadly results. We'll look at one man's mission to get people to keep their eyes on the road when Live at Four continues. Find your inspiration with Wisconsin Vision. prescription sunglasses. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow. Is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model. His name is Richie and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful. That's all it takes. And what I love about Plexiderm is this is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm. Please send me more. It's a cream. It's a topical. It literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes on your fine lines and wrinkles, and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical, I am not going to lie, because I saw people online with it, and I'm like, yeah, right, that can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference, I have so many dark circles, I have the puffiness, I have the lines, like, it's amazing. You have an event, you have any of those moments where you wanna feel the best about yourself, I am telling you, the videos that you see on social media and TV are real. At our four $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. If your house was cold this winter, it's going to be hot this summer. And now's the time to get your home more energy efficient. It's National Insulation Month, and we're celebrating by giving you savings of $2,000. And just in time before you get those big summer electric bills. Spring's booking quickly, so don't wait to insulate. Call now and save up to $2,000 during National Insulation Month. USA Insulation. Well, take a look at this. There are skate parks, and then there's this skate park. British BMXer Chris Kyle took his skills to the sky in a death-defying feat riding in the world's first floating skate park. 
Kyle worked with Oracle Red Bull Racing and the Red Bull Advanced Technologies Division, along with Cameron Balloons, to create this lofty vision. It took almost three years, but the final product was a carbon fibered BMX bowl suspended 2,000 feet in the air by one of the world's largest operating hot air balloons. After practicing on land, Kyle took his skills to the skate park in the sky over England, wearing a heavy parachute, fighting against a bouncing, rocking balloon, and cheered on by his close friends in the basket. That's, That's awesome. incredible. Um, that is incredible. Yeah. Something Mark would never do <laughs> if his life depended on I it. I wouldn't skate park on the ground. <laughs> yeah, right. That is really cool, though. And we have a bonus. Take a look at this. Our chief photographer, Mike Van Susteren, captured this video of two Look at owlets. Look at them. These baby owls are nesting along the Ice Age Trail near Verona. Young owls generally leave the nest when they're about two months old, so it looks like they might be there for a little bit longer. That's oh, aren't they precious? They're so cute. Mom and Dad were nowhere to be found. Oh, they might be, you know, keeping a close eye on Mike. Oh, that's a good catch. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Wise old owl. And they're going to have a little snow on their head, maybe, nice. by the end of the weekend. And so there huh? may be a little snow owls coming yeah. into our Monday. <laughs> but so, folks, enjoy the summer while we have it, because it's <laughs> going to be short-lived. We'll talk about the changes in the first one forecast in our alert day after the break. Hey, I just got a text from my sister. You remember Rick, her neighbor? Sure. He's the 76-year-old guy who still runs marathons, right? Sadly, not anymore. What? You mean... Mm-hmm. Just like that. Wow. So sudden. Um... We're not about to have the we need life insurance conversation again, are we? No, we're having the we're getting coverage so we don't have to worry about it conversation. So you're calling about the $9.95 a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that $9.95 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the $9.95 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. It could be the death of someone you know or a health scare. That's why today could be a great day to call for free information about Colonial Pen's 995 plan. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. This is permanent coverage. Just pay your premiums for lifelong security. The 995 plan is Colonial Pen's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Don't put it off. Take the first easy step. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. Call 1-800-290-3399 for your free information and free gift. That's 1-800-290-3399. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-290-3399. 1-800-290-3399. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen? Can you stay at home and shop for a vehicle in your pajamas? Yes, Berkshire Automotive offers express purchase so you can complete all parts of your vehicle purchased online. Or you can come in and see us, even in your pajamas. And the cookies are always fresh. So you just bought a vehicle from us. Will we give you a week to drive it and return it if you don't love it? Yes. Love it or return it? Yes, it's that easy. You've been told no before? Join the Bergstrom Automotive family for the yes. Bergstrom for the yes. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Another day in the 80s is making it feel like summer in April, and plenty of people here in Madison are taking full advantage of it. As you can see, some jet skis outside of our dwelling sky cam over the edge water. Now, let's go into what we have to talk about because it is a lot on our table. We have red flag warnings until 8 p.m. for our friends in Juneau and Adams County and friends to the north. Again, that's going to be until 8 p.m., so please don't burn anything outside. Now, the farmer's market, our world-famous farmer's market, is going to be starting for the first time tomorrow, and here's a look at the forecast for it. 
Before we start to see any changes, like thunderstorms or rain, well, it's going to be pretty sunny and warm. We're looking at temperatures into the 70s, especially by the time it is at the end of the farmer's market. So t-shirts and shorts weather is definitely optimal. Now getting into Saturday, once we get into Saturday afternoon, evening hours, we're going to be watching for some thunderstorms that could be strong or severe, but it's mainly going to be southwest of Madison. With these storms, the threats are mainly going to be high winds and some small hail if those storms do become severe. But let's go ahead and talk about our alert day, which comes right after it. For southern Wisconsin and mainly north of Madison, we could be seeing one to four inches of accumulation of snowfall, but mainly on the grassy areas. But we could see some of those roadways getting a little slick by the time we get into our Monday morning as temperatures will plummet rather rapidly. Outside of that, Sunday nights into early Monday morning is going to be our timeline for the alert day. So let's talk about it. Getting into our Saturday morning again. It's not going to be much issues, but we are going to see those temperatures still on the warmer side. But mind you, watch this low. As we get into around Saturday afternoon, showers and storms are going to start to develop just north near La Crosse. But we're still looking at quiet conditions until we get into our Saturday afternoon, evening hours and going into the overnight. Looking at some storms starting to fire off, especially just around Madison and to the northwest. And right behind it, you can see as the colder air comes in from those northerly winds is where we're starting to see right behind the low where the snow is going to start to develop. So Sunday afternoon, we're still dealing with some rain, potentially an isolated thunderstorm or some moderate rainfall. But right behind it, you can see just to the western sides, this would be between eastern Iowa, Platteville, and even for Lafayette and Iowa counties, some mixing of that rain and snow already into our Sunday afternoon. But once we get into our Sunday nights, that's going to be our best opportunity to see it turn all into snow as the cold front starts to really roll in right behind our low pressure system, carrying into our Monday morning. So that's when we're going to be seeing all snow snowfall throughout much of southern Wisconsin and Wisconsin in itself going into our Monday morning. Now taking a look at how much snow we're going to be expecting one to two inches around Madison, but mainly areas to the north could be seeing a substantial amount. Now again, on the surface, since it's rather warm, especially since we've had multiple 80 degree days, it may melt on the ground. So we're not looking for a whole lot of accumulation, but just enough to add some disruptions going into our uh, Monday morning. Now our three things we'll need to know is that we're looking at a warm Saturday once again and then it's cold being coming cold by the time we get into our Sunday heading into our Monday as well. So we'll look at our uh, 10 day forecast. We're going to be seeing those temperatures really plummet once we get into Sunday. Almost a 30 degree change from Saturday into Sunday from 80 degrees into the 50s and even colder going into Monday around 44 degrees. The good news is though this is going to be very short lived and the snow any of it that develops will melt quickly. We're looking at warmer temperatures throughout the rest of the week. Back to more April like feels and the next weekend it's going to be a bit cooler, but we're still dealing with a nice weekend with 50s. A little more spring until we get to summer. Yeah. Hey, we have a couple more shower opportunities, so hopefully a couple more weeks. We need the rain. And we'll get that bloom. April showers. Bring May flowers. <laughs> 82 today, 44 on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Exactly. Welcome to Wisconsin. Julian, thank you. Thanks, Julian. Well, if you need some inspiration to get in shape, this next story is for you. A man who is weightlifting in this video just turned 100 years old, and he celebrated his birthday by bench pressing 100 pounds. Werner Schlaupitz is a World War II veteran. He credits his trainer for helping him stay fit and lifting his mood when he's feeling down. I feel rested. I don't feel tired or worn out or anything. And I feel energetic. I feel like I could continue going, going more. His instructor says Schlaupitz never misses a workout session, and now he's working toward another goal. He plans to participate in the Senior Olympics in October. Schlaupitz says if you want to live a long and healthy life, stay active, don't smoke, and don't drink. Wow, 100 years that, old. That is inspiring. He looks fantastic. Yeah, he does. Well, it's easy to get distracted while driving, but it can be deadly. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says more than 3,500 people were killed by distracted drivers in 2021. One man in London has made it his mission to encourage people to keep their eyes on the road or face the consequences. Ian Lee reports. Cycling crusader Mike Van Erp patrols London streets on the lookout for bad drivers. Drivers have very little regard for cyclists in the UK, so carrying cameras is a natural way to, to change that. And his GoPro also records potential perpetrators using their phones while driving. What kind of reactions have you received? 
A few people are apologetic. Some people ignore you, but the majority of people get angry when you catch them out doing something wrong. No, I was calling out, I was reading your number plate. I don't care about that. Dude, listen, you can't fit me. I just, I Do you get uh, nervous when you confront an angry driver? Definitely. I, I definitely get nervous and scared. When I was following the correct protocols. Mike turns his videos over to the police. I think the, the most I caught once was about 16 in an hour. What kind of uh, tips you off that someone's a bad driver? When someone moves off in a queue, or the, the queue moves off rather, and someone leaves that gap, or it's swerving in the lane because they're not paying attention. Very naughty using your phone. But no amount of angry drivers can dismount Mike's efforts. His mission is personal. My dad was killed by a drink driver when I was 19. I find crossing the road with my kid and the young special needs lad I work with quite scary sometimes, so it's for them. Do you see yourself as a vigilante? I don't think I'm a vigilante at all. I'm doing the exact opposite thing of a vigilante. Why are you playing with your phone? In the last five years, Mike says he's reported about 1,100 drivers, with more than 800 successfully prosecuted. Do you think it is helping people think about becoming better drivers? Very much so. Helping people become better drivers, whether they like it or not. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. I can see myself doing that. Well, you, people <laughs> do change their behavior when they know somebody is watching Well, that's really. Yeah. You know, and the light changes, the cars don't move. You know, right. they're, they're on texting. Right, right. Eyes on the road. <laughs> coming up next year on Live, before we take a sneak peek at the movie Mafia Mama. And then coming up next hour at 5, the hot, dry weather has been impacting local farmers. Our Will Keneally will tell us what they're doing to adjust. Coming up at 5. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Beautyrest mattress from Steinhoffels. Beautyrest mattresses are assembled in Wisconsin, and right now, queens start at just $4.99. Or upgrade to the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest Black and get $200 in Steinhoffel's cash. Beautyrest Black Queen mattresses start at just $49 per month when you use Steinhoffel's special 72-month financing. Shop in-store or online today at steinhoffels.com. Habish attorneys are the best of what a personal injury attorney is about. To get the most money for your case, you need to have a law firm that's unrelenting. We will fight with all that we have in person power, in knowledge, and experience to bring about the result they deserve. I can't give them their life back how it was, but I can give them the financial compensation to get their life back on track. Oh, no, I think I lost my debit card. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We're in a mall. Some stranger's probably tapping new shoes, tapping a washer-dryer combo, just tapping everything in sight. It's okay. Just tap your phone. With BMO, you can use your phone to freeze and unfreeze a lost card. I can? And you can always get a new card instantly at a BMO branch. I got my tap back. You ever seen someone this excited about a debit card before? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Not this excited. When a bank gives you instant peace of mind, that's the BMO effect. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Attract a wide variety of birds with Enchanted Garden Bird Seed. Available in various high-quality seed types and blends. Get this bag of sunflower seeds for $14.99 after rebate. Keep your lawn looking its best with Menards' premium four-part fertilizer program. It's comprised of what you need for every season to make your lawn healthy and luscious. Buy now and save for the season. Get all four for $50 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Coming up tonight, how the warmer, drier weather that we've been seeing impacts farmers getting plants into the ground. After seeing record or near-record temperatures the past few days, a big change in the weather will take place on Sunday. A first warm weather alert day is in the forecast for Sunday night and Monday morning for accumulating snow. I'll let you know how much to expect at 5. And ahead at 6, concerns over content have Wisconsin legislators proposing another TikTok ban. This one for minors. What led to needing a law? Tonight at 6. 
Oh, give you the weather satellite to spin. We end up in Toronto Harbor. 80, 73 degrees there. It's a great city. Spelled the international. That's way. right, actually. <laughs> Harbour. Yes. Tony Collette and Monica Bellucci star in a new movie heading to theaters this week. Rick Damagella has a preview. I have terrible news. Your grandfather is dead. I don't even know him. Tony Collette inherits the family business in Mafia Mama. I landed safe in Italy. The film doesn't lie. I was having the time of my life. It really was the most profoundly joyous experience I've ever had at work. In fact, just in life. I loved being in Rome. I loved making this movie. I'm trained as an architect and I was a production designer, so to go to Rome, which is the most ancient city with almost the birth of beautiful architecture, a super treat for me. It's just like the Godfather. Oh, right, yeah, I never saw the Godfather. Okay, look, it's really hard to find three and a half hours. Comedy I think is is the hardest genre and the only way to get it right is to be absolutely real. It's the only way. And Tony is a masterclass at just <laughs> being 100% real and bringing sets to their knees. It's a comedy uh, in the world of mafia but with a feminine twist. I was so happy when I read the script. Really very happy because I thought it was really original and I laughed out loud. I am tired of this war. My family is tired of this war. Oh my gosh, TripAdvisor does not lie. Can I get another scoop? In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. We'll find out what Will Flopper thinks about it on Monday. It looks good. Well, thousands of horse, horse lovers and enthusiasts have descended on Madison this weekend. We'll take a look inside the Midwest Horse Fair when Live at Four continues. Experience does count. When you're shopping for new furniture, a mattress set, or flooring, come to the experts at McGann Furniture and Flooring in Baraboo. Our experienced staff is well-trained in home decorating and will answer all your questions so you can buy with confidence. You'll find big city selection and an enjoyable shopping experience. And remember, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. Come see the difference experience can make at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. An important message for Americans age 50 to 85. How's John? Oh, much better. That was quite a scare. Got us thinking about a lot of things, like life insurance. If something happened to either one of us, we'd really be in trouble. But where can we get coverage with John's health problems on a fixed income? Go with a sure thing, Colonial Pen. Friends have been telling friends about Colonial Pen guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance for more than 50 years, and with good reason. If you're between the ages of 50 and 85, it's a sure thing. Your acceptance is guaranteed because full benefits are not paid in the first two years. You don't need a physical exam, and we won't ask about your health. You cannot be turned down. And the price? Options start at $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. I don't know. What if the price goes up as we get older? With Colonial Pen, your rate is another sure thing. It will never increase. That's because it comes with something you won't find in other policies, a lifetime rate lock. The rate you start with is the one you keep. Guaranteed. And you should know, this coverage can last a lifetime. Some insurance policies end once you reach a certain age. Not this one. As long as you pay your premiums, it's yours for life. Call the number on your screen now, and we'll send you free information by mail. You have nothing to lose, because at Colonial Pen, your satisfaction is another sure thing. Every policy we issue comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance to help your family with funeral expenses and other bills you may leave behind, Call for free information today. There's no obligation, and you'll receive a free beneficiary planner just for calling. Same time next week? Sure thing. Call 1-800-248-6940 for your free information and your free beneficiary planner. That's 1-800-248-6940. There's no obligation. 1-800-248-6940. Call now. Made with American biofuels, E15 saves drivers money, reduces emissions, and creates jobs in rural communities. Last year when gas prices were spiking, President Biden extended summer sales of E15 and saved drivers nearly $1 per gallon in some areas. We can't afford higher gas prices this summer. We need the Biden administration to act again. 
tell Senator Baldwin that President Biden must protect access to E15 and extend savings at the pump. An update on our traffic. Well, if you're going to be traveling eastbound on the Beltline heading towards Monona, expect some delays. We've been seeing some slow spots on the roadway on eastbound on the high of the Beltline for the past about 40 minutes or so. However, everywhere else, not too bad. Pretty normal traffic at this time and hour. It's going to do it for our traffic update. Let's go ahead and send it over to you. All right, Julian, thank you. Thank, check out these incredible gigantic waves rolling in near Cape Cornwall in the UK. Wind gusts of up to 75 miles an hour made for the perfect recipe to create these massive waves that completely dwarf the onlookers on shore, it's on the cliff there. Beautiful and terrifying, <laughs> but too. But they're up pretty high, so. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Well, we have an update on those little baby owlets we showed you earlier. Yes, we have identified them as great horned owls, according to Stan Temple, our bird expert. With the uh, feathered horns, that's how you, you deter determine which breed they are or which uh, species they are. Oh, wow. So that makes it even more special. They're just starting to show great. And how big do they get? Big. Yeah. Yeah, like two or like three feet. Wow. Well, he knows he's on television right now. <laughs> <laughs> the wise young owl. Yes. Well, they're often used to decorate homes. But bringing nature inside may also help your health, both mentally and physically. Over the years, multiple studies have looked at the benefits of house plants. Bringing a little green, a little bit of nature inside may give a big boost to your mental health. Dr. Matthew Flanagan with Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center says plants may also be good for your body. With decreased stress hormones, your vasoconstrictors, they come slowly undone and it really can actually like lower blood pressure and, and make you feel um, and, and physically be more healthy. In the past decade, multiple house plants um, have been lauded as air cleaners, including several varieties of palms, rubber plants, Dracenia, English ivy, ficus, Boston ferns, and peace lilies. I have all those in my house. Well, it's not a horse show, it's a horse fair, and it's back at the Alliant Energy Center this weekend. You can sing it if you want yeah, to. you can sing <laughs> along. The Midwest Horse Fair is the biggest three-day show in the country for the equine industry. Thousands of participants and horses are in town, and joining us with a preview of what you can expect is Terry Giannotti, the executive director of the horse fair. Terry, thanks for being with us today. Hi, Terry. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we're super excited to be here. And so what's all taking place? What can people see? So, you know, uh, we have over 30 different positions, uh, glowing and fast positions from all over the country. We, of course, tonight in town, I have the PRTA rodeo and uh, we're playing performers throughout the evening. And then we also have, um, on Sunday, New Year's Eve, we have the USPCA stuff going on there. We're having a little trouble with your microphone, Terry, so we're going to have to cut this a little short, but the fair runs through the weekend. Head on out. It's a great time. Terry, thank you so much. Have a great horse fair. Sorry about the audio problem there, and we'll be right back with the final check your forecast. Save big on quality Smith Brothers Furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC, the number one Smith Brothers dealer in the nation. That's right, for square footage, we sell more Smith Brothers than anyone else. So let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale at Wanaki Furniture ETC. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing. In as little as two weeks, Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. 
do picks and can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your asthma specialist about Dupixent. Team, I need a volunteer. We need promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes promotional product success easy. For high quality items, go to 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC, the number one Smith Brothers dealer in the nation. That's right, for square footage, we sell more Smith Brothers than anyone else. So let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale at Wanaki Furniture ETC. When it comes to our kids and our schools and protecting them in schools, I think we should put all options on the table. A new bill is stirring up controversy. Should teachers be allowed to carry guns on campus? We dive into the debated defensive strategy next. News 3 Now's call for action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed. More than a half million dollars recovered. And we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. You'll need the rain gear heading into our Saturday afternoon and evening hours as we are looking at a marginal risk for severe weather, a level one out of five for areas just south and west of Madison. But we can still have a couple of showers into our afternoon leading into our Saturday nights. Alert days in the forecast, mainly for Sunday night into our early Monday morning as we are watching for some snow. So winter returns potentially giving one to four inches of accumulation possible, especially mainly north of Madison by the time we get into our Monday morning. But first, we're going to be seeing showers and storms throughout our Saturday evening hours and then as rain turns into snow going into our Saturday Sunday night excuse me heading into our Monday morning so make sure you're planning ahead for that we could see one or two inches of snowfall accumulating around Madison but more as you head further north near Juneau and Adams County rainfall about a quarter to a half of an inch total but here's our three things we'll need to know 80s near 80s again heading into Saturday and then it all changes once we get into our Sunday chief meteorologist Gary can also walk through this at five Devin, back to you. All right. Thank you, Julian. You had one of the hot cheese curds. Yeah, are my eyes watering? <laughs> They're kind of spicy. <laughs> they were very hot, but delicious. Just but I like spicy stuff. But that was really spicy. And squeaky. I'm like, is there any water around here? <laughs> <laughs> On the next live before, we'll head to the movies with our film critic, Will Loper. That's coming up Monday. And it's breakfast for dinner. Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council has some great recipes for you to try Monday on Live at Four. Spring savings are in full swing and everything is on sale at Ashley. Sofas start at $6 a month, dining sets at $8 a month, bedroom sets at $13 per month, plus special financing options for any budget and free delivery in three days or less. Only at Ashley. Habitat Restore is full of great finds at great prices for a great cause. With a unique inventory of high-quality, low-cost goods, you can save money and feel good about your purchase. Shop Restore Dane County today. For back pain, I've always been a take two and call in the morning guy. But my new doctor recommended Salon Pass. Without another pill upsetting my stomach, I get powerful, effective, and safe relief. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. 
Sky Construction invites you to celebrate spring with our big spring thaw sale. We're talking about savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board with our spring thaw sale. Save 23% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. The Buy Like a Builder event is going on now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. For a limited time, get home builder pricing on the largest selection of name brand appliances in all of Wisconsin. Plus free delivery in three days or less. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashland. Well, from the smallest dog to the oldest gorilla. They're all part of this week's edition of the News Hounds. Here's the News Hounds, Louie and Oliver, with their World News Roundup. This week on the News Hounds, a Basset Hound bus, an elk traffic jam, and happy birthday, Fatal. But first, meet Pearl, the world's shortest dog. She's a two-year-old chihuahua, shorter than a remote control, as long as a dollar bill. The pocket-sized pup is the new official holder of the Guinness World Record for shortest dog alive. She was born in Orlando, Florida, and is actually related to the previous record holder, Miracle Millie, who had the same owner. Pearl's owner says she's a bit of a diva. She enjoys eating high-quality food like chicken and salmon and loves to dress up nice. From the tiniest dog in the world to the oldest gorilla in the world, Fatou is celebrating her 66th birthday. Zookeepers at the Berlin Zoo set up a feast of berries, fresh fruit, and a bouquet of salad and herbs. Because of Fatou's record age, surpassing the average gorilla lifespan of up to 40 years by more than two decades, she requires even more care. She needs very soft food that she can chew well, even with no teeth. Western lowland gorillas are considered critically endangered due to habitat destruction. They are vegetarians and live in family groups consisting of several females and one male. Checking traffic now, a big backup on Interstate 15 in Fort Hall, Idaho. Authorities had to shut down the major interstate to help hundreds of elk cross to the other side of the road. It was an extensive multi-agency operation that was necessary to get multiple herds of elk safely across the highway. There were over 500 in all. They need to move the elk each year to their winter feeding grounds. And finally, a party bus full of basset hounds and their owners. There were 19 dogs in all, and the party organizers had to pay a little more for the cleaning fee because of all the projectile slobber. It was worth it. So how do these basset hound owners know each other? Well, six years ago, Christopher Sanchez, his wife Felicia, and dog Dottie made an Instagram page. Over time, they built a social group of basset hound owners all over Colorado. They'd meet up for play dates. This past weekend, for Dottie's ninth birthday, they got the party bus going. They went to a park, got some pup cups, and there's Dottie there. Enjoyed her birthday treat, only a little bit there on her lower lip. She's a classy girl. Talk about a doggone great time.